It's not gonna happen. The winds are ridiculous. They're easily 60 miles an hour. Catch him again next time. National Park. We're really hoping to finally hike to the top this time and uh, it's not gonna happen. The winds are ridiculous. They're easily 60 miles an hour. So we're gonna catch them again next time. So we decided it would be best to head southwest to Big Bend National Park. It was at least a four-hour drive so we stayed at a campsite in the park for the night. All right, so we just got back to the van. We are cooking us up. <laughs> we are cooking us up some dinner. And yes, those are dishes. Our bed is not made. This is the reality of van life. So we're making... Pasta. Tortellini. Pasta and meatballs. My favorite pasta. We're making some though. tortellini and some extra good meatballs. Oh yeah. We've been having a great day. Yeah. Yeah, today has been awesome. Lots the, of driving. Yes. Lots of driving. Lots and lots of driving. We just walked to the visitor center so that we can get some Wi-Fi and respond to you guys' comments. We thank you so much for your comments and we love responding to them. So now we're just preparing for tomorrow. So we're gonna eat, we're gonna wash up, and then we're gonna go to sleep and we'll catch you guys in the morning. All right guys, so it's the next day. We are getting ready to go on a hike. We wanna show you the campsite that we stayed at last night here in Big Bend. But this is the gorgeous campsite that we stayed at. All right, so let's go see what Sean is up to. Hey babe. Hey. So pancakes time. Mm -hmm. Sausages are already done? Yep, already done back there. All right. All right, so I just got back in the van. Um, as you can see now, our bed is made up and we cleaned our dishes. <laughs> All right, so our pancakes and sausages are done. So we're gonna eat and then we will be on our way. As soon as we arrived at Bokia's Canyon, at the top of the steps we saw these handmade walking sticks and pottery. We were then greeted by the coolest man named Valencio. He showed us everything in his shop from tortilla holders, bags, and wire art. So of course we supported. And then we turn around to these amazing mountains and the Rio Grande River. We haven't even made it anywhere. We barely made it a quarter of a mile. <laughs> no, we got some souvenirs though. <laughs> then we headed into the canyon, which looked incredible near sunset. All right guys, so we are standing in the canyon. Hopefully you can see, yeah, there you go. All right, so we're not gonna get too deep into the hike today because we don't have the best luck when we start late. So we are just going to probably walk a little further in. All right, so this is where we are now in our hike. It's crazy. Yes, it is, it's crazy, but um, we're hearing noises, so <laughs> we're about to go back to our campsite and we will be back in the morning. But we couldn't leave without first catching this beautiful sunset. Yeah. So we're back at the van. <laughs> and as you can tell, we are tired. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely. It was just such an easy walk too. Mm -hmm. The scenery changed every mm -hmm. like hundred feet. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. We don't know how deep we can go because like we said, we heard some sounds <laughs> and even though it was still kind of light enough, the sun was setting. Mm -hmm. So we said, mm -mm, mm -mm. nope. Mm -hmm. We will come back tomorrow morning. After that, where are we going? Uh, Santa Elena. 
Canyon. Mm -hmm. We're excited about that. No, we're really excited That's about really that. That's really like one of the main reasons we came here. That's what they're famous for. Mm -hmm. And it looks crazy in the photos. So. Yeah, so we stayed in the uh, Rio Grande Village. Yep. That's where we've been staying for the campsite. It's um, kind of right on the Mexican border. Yes, and it's this campsite is great because you can go right over to the Boquillas Canyon, mm -hmm. uh, which is right across from Boquillas, Mexico. Mm -hmm. Maybe a 10 minute drive mm -hmm. from the, the little campsite, which is perfect. Yeah. So easy because this park's huge. It yeah. could take you, like it's gonna take us an hour and a half to yep. get to the Santa Elena Canyons. We're gonna get ourselves ready for bed and we'll pick you guys up tomorrow. So when we got back the next morning, our new friend Valencio said we can take photos with his horse. So you know we did. Also on this day, we got to go deeper into the canyon and saw a whole new angle of the mountains. The mountains were so incredible, of course we had to take more photos. All right, while hiking to the end, look at what we found. So here we came across some incredible crystals that was coming out of the side of the mountain. So that was a pleasant surprise to our hike. Now we are actually leaving and headed over to Santa Elena. For copyright purposes, we can't play the whole song, but meet Jesus, who's actually from Boquillas, Mexico, and sung us a classic song. Para tu, mi amigo. Oh, gracias. Thank you. On our way to the Santa Elena Canyon, we decided to take a detour into the Chisos Basin, and we passed by some insane volcanic formations. We just found somewhere called Tough Canyon on the way to Santa Elena Canyon. And this thing looks crazy already. Reminds me of uh, Badlands a little bit actually over here. This park is crazy though, it changes. Seriously every, every like half mile. This place is so massive, it can never be fully explored. I feel like you'd have to spend months upon months doing every one of these trails to even come close. All right, we're heading to Santa Elena, trying to beat the sunset. I think we got time. We got a whole mountain covering it right now, so I don't think it's a good judge, but this canyon was crazy. Yes, it was. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we just made it to Santa Elena and we're gonna show you guys. What you think, babe? This is crazy. It does not look real. <laughs> no, not it's at all. It's that big. Mm-hmm. It's that big. <laughs> this is the canyon to be at no, in December. Oh my God. In general. And you're down here with it. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, so we just heard that we can hike about a mile through the canyon. So we are about to try to hurry and do that before the sun goes.
All right guys, so we have hiked in a little and we want to show you what we see. All right, we're gonna head back to the car because we've got a ridiculous drive ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we couldn't think of a better place to close the vlog out here. Um, this is incredible, of course. <laughs> incredible. Yeah, this has been an amazing trip. We're mm -hmm. leaving the National Park tonight and to see mm -hmm. where we will be next, you have to catch us in the next vlog. But we hope you enjoyed this vlog and mm -hmm. We've had the best time. I mean, I don't know. We're probably glowing at this point. <laughs> yeah. Because it's been just so magnificent and magical. And um, we will be back for sure and for a much longer time. Yes, much longer time. Yeah, but we have some places to get to. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you have subscribed. Uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you again. We have an yeah. amazing journey ahead of us. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>